Hi. For whatever reason, for me, Louis Vuitton monogram canvas just screams fall. I don't know if it's the brown and the gold together. I don't know what it is, but for me, the minute it gets to be fall outside, I bring out my monogram. I use my monogram throughout the year, but for some reason, it's especially used in the fall. So over the years, I have just sort of curated a group of monogram pieces, bags. We're only going to talk about bags this time. I have a whole bunch of SLGs I will talk about probably another time, but for now, it's all about the bags that I have in the Louis Vuitton monogram print. Let's see the collection. These will be in no particular order. I'm just gonna kind of grab from where I have them. So here we go. Funny though, the first one I grab happens to be one that is the very first Louis Vuitton bag I ever purchased. This is my first Louis Vuitton bag. It's the Petite Bucket and I love it. And it came with a pouch that of course I forgot to bring up here, but it came with a pouch that attached um, with a D-ring to this little chain, if I wanted to use it that way. It's been the best little pouch in the whole wide world. I wish they sold that size still. Anyway, this is the small bucket bag. The patina is amazing on these straps. I carried this nonstop for years and years. And then, um, gosh, my daughter carried it for approximately, I wanna say six years. I mean, it was a long time. So I've had this thing for a very, very long time. Let me see if I can even see when it was, uh, the tag thing is, I don't even know where to look. Where is the date code? Where is the date? Oh, here's, here's the date code. 03, so 2003 is when this was made. It has the leather inside. It has this flat pocket. And over here, it has this zipper pocket with the leather trim there and the D-ring with the chain. I love this bag. It's just this perfect little size, goes up from my shoulder, can also be worn in the crook of the arm. But look at the patina, and I did nothing to protect this. I was brand new to the, to the entire label. I just wanted something I could use all the time, and I did. I worked basically full-time as a volunteer in my children's school at the time. They were in still elementary school at that time. And yes, this was with me all the time. And I didn't even think or know to do anything to protect the leather. So this is just how it ended up. Anyway, enough about this bag. I love it. That's the very first one I ever got. So then in 2005, I went to the boutique. I had been saving up my money and I decided I wanted another bag. And I had the hardest time choosing between two. I didn't know which size I wanted, and I did a really crazy thing for me, especially at that time. I ended up getting both. I mean, now it's fantastic, because at the time, those prices were still astronomical, but now when I think about what I paid for them, holy cow, you know, for the bags that are still this good. Anyway, these are of the Cabas, Cabas collection. I got the smaller size, which I cannot remember the name, but I'll put it here somewhere and one of the larger sizes. I think this is not the biggest of the biggest. It might be more of the medium. They had names like piano and mezzo and something else. You'd think forte, but I don't think that's what it was. Anyway, these are the two sizes I got. This is more of a tote size, obviously, and this is more of a shoulder bag size. And I just love it. And again, I did nothing to protect the leather and you'll see on the bottom, they're pretty bad. But, you know, I mean, look. I mean, these were sitting on bleachers with me at sporting events. These were all over the place with me and my kids. This one I took to um, a trip to England with me and my husband and kids. I've gone everywhere with this thing, so many places. So first of all, oh, and my mother even borrowed this and used this for a while. Um, it has just been with me for a very long time and I love it. I love that it has the zip, whereas the bucket bag did not. It has more of that that old fashioned um, flip phone kind of a cell phone case there, has the D-ring, and it has this interior zipper pocket with the brown kind of a fabric lining. 
The zippers are amazing. I mean, just absolutely heavenly, butterly, buttery, wonderful. The canvas is thick and gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This bag is just the same thing, just a little larger. I used it a little less than this. As you can see, the patina is a little different. But yeah, it is an amazing, amazing bag. Again, the canvas is unbelievable. The zipper is like butter. Absolutely adore it. Perfectly unfilled. Very similar inside, except for this one does not have the zip pocket. It has just a flat, flat slip pocket. And it does have the cell phone pocket here, that older style, which is great for lip gloss, things like that now too. But anyway, perfect D-ring. Fantastic size, fantastic tote. I never want to get rid of it. It just, it's, it's amazing. But that's, those are my next two. So these are the first three I ever purchased of Louis Vuitton. Wow, I don't know if I can keep going in line like that, but I'll try. Okay, those were all purchased in a boutique. This was my next one that was purchased um, pre-loved. And this is from 2004, and I think I got it probably 2006. It is the Speedy 30. I love it. At one time, no, wait a minute, I think I got this maybe a year later. The first one I got was the bandolier. Didn't care for that. I don't know why, but I didn't like the bandolier on it. I just really like the classic handheld, this kind of a thing. And that's when it was on my on myself crossbody or over the shoulder, I just felt like it stuck out too much. I don't know. Anyway, it's just my preference is the original. And so I did purchase this pre-loved since the other one was kind of like, uh, and I sold it. I thought, you know what, let's just, let's just go pre-loved on this one. I'm so glad I did. It was barely used at the time, had a tiny bit of patina, which was wonderful because I didn't have to worry as much, you know, with that bright, bright leather. But this is, was manufactured in 2004 and it's just an amazing condition still. It's got the flap, as we all know. Um, yeah, the D-ring, the whole deal. Perfect, like butter. I mean, just amazing. Made in France. Just love it. I've not sprayed anything on it. I've not done anything to it to protect it. I've just, this is it. This is as it is. I've used and used and used and used and used this lovely, lovely bag. I love the original handheld Speedy 30s. Now we are up to 2013, and that's when I fell in love with the original Delightful. The later one came with the uh, charm type of the leather piece here. This is the original, and I fell in love with it. I was on a trip to New York City uh, with my husband, and I saw, it was right when it first came out, I saw a lot of people with it, and then I went to the boutique and it wasn't available, and then I kind of hemmed and hawed about, do I want it, do I not? Um, my husband had a comment about it that wasn't very pleasant, <laughs> but he said, do what you want. But he said he thought it looked like it was broken, <laughs> whatever that means. He's like, I don't, you know, he doesn't care what I carry. He just, I asked his opinion and I wanted the truth and he felt, thought it looked broken because it's just sort of slouchy, I think. And he's not used to that on the bags that I carry normally because I don't do very much slouchy, I guess. Anyway, found it finally when I came back. I bought this in the boutique in Northbrook, I think, um, in, outside of Chicago. So this is the delightful PM, the original one. Um, it's got that lovely, lovely Louis Vuitton there. I love this strap. It's just so soft and perfect. Um, such a great bag. This did not come with it, so I can ignore this. Um, but it has that original interior, which I adore. It has the D-ring, the zip pocket. absolutely love this bag. It does have the little um, clip here to keep it closed a little bit. This does tend to slide down my arm. That's my, I have a love hate with this and that's the only thing I really dislike about it. It does, it tend, tends to fall down my arm often. And that's the one thing that, that handle is very soft, but it also just tends to want to fall. But I love the bag in general so much that that does not bother me. And I have heard of some people getting a longer strap and attaching it to these two you know, rings and using it as a crossbody. I think that's a fantastic idea. I haven't done that yet, but yeah. I love this one, love it. This one is really hard to find in very good shape. 
Um, I have found several down below. Whenever I can find some of these that are no longer available, I will link them down below. So just take a look and just see what you think in the, some pre-loved places that I have found and trust. So yeah, this one, there are a few I found. You know, I would say that I get more comments and more questions and more emails about people wanting to purchase that bag from me, be delightful than most of any of my other bags. That's, that's a big one that most people want and I just can't part with it yet, but I still appreciate the inquiries. <laughs> So 2014 rolls around and so does the Pochette Matisse. So this is the bag, the original Pochette Matisse from 2014. It's got this zip, which I love with the, with the pull. I love this piece of the Keta here. And that definitely shows you that it's one of the very first ones made. Adore it. Anyway, here she is. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, I know that the pochette has had some issues uh, in the past with glazing and you know problems and stuff. And yeah, my glazing is not pristine and perfect. It is absolutely not. However, I don't care. <laughs> I thought about it. I went to the store and they did offer to purchase it back and just give me the money for it or I could get a new one, whatever. And I decided not to. And I think my biggest reason is because I do believe the canvas is thicker um, on this one than the newer ones. Plus it's, you know, just because it's got a little bit of cracking there does not make the bag not be used. I mean, it can still be used just as much and just as well. I like that it's the original. I love the pull tab more than anything and I love the canvas. So anyway, I've used this thing to just, to pieces. This is the first one I think about in the fall when I'm like, I gotta get out my teeth. So it's incredible, I love it. Nothing is wrong with this bag. I think it's perfection. I just adore it. Yay. Sometime soon after that, I believe, I purchased this wonderful GM, the Neverfull GM in the monogram, and I purchased this pre-loved. Um, I wanted the original. It's from 2007. I wanted this original print inside. I love that. Um, it was in amazing condition. It's still in amazing condition. Um, I got a good price for it. Why not? So I got myself a GM. I have the Neverfull um, MM in the Damier Ben print, and I did also get it in the monogram, but I've since given that to someone else. Um, so what I still have is this one, and whenever I have trips or whatever that I need to just put a whole bunch of things in, this fits right under the seat in front of me on an airplane. I just throw things in and shove things on top and kind of just fold it over and shove it under. I mean. I've put my feet on this, you know, <laughs> I mean, this, it's, it's a workhorse. What I'm saying is I don't baby it. I've used this all over the place for all sorts of things. I've stuffed it. I've overstuffed it. Um, it's just, it's just amazing. I can't say enough. And I do recommend for something like this, especially if it's not an everyday bag, you're just going to grab it to throw things in and whatever. I do really recommend uh, trying to find one on a pre-loved market that's in very good or excellent condition and just starting there. Uh, seriously though, I mean, it starts with the patina already. You don't have to worry about, you know, conditioning it and all that stuff. It's just absolutely wonderful. And I've enjoyed it so, so much. This is a toiletry bag. It's not really a handbag, but I use it probably more as a clutch handbag than I do as anything else. This almost always goes with me on any kind of a trip. It's filled with things that I need that I can easily get to, and then I put it in my large tote bag for travel. Once I'm at the destination I'm going to, I can easily take out the things inside and use this as my clutch to go out to dinner or wherever, and I just put in my phone, um, you know, whatever, a little bit of whatever needs to be taken with me, my sunglasses, a camera, whatever it is. Oh, here's the inside. It's absolutely perfect and wonderful. I, uh, a lovely viewer friend, knew that I wanted this and she offered me uh, hers to purchase and I did and I'm so happy. Um, love it, made in Spain, incredible. But I just use it as a little clutch whenever I go out and about, especially on any trips or vacation, but I've used it other times as a clutch too. It's just the simplest bag to carry just like this or under the crook of the arm, whatever. Love it, love it. And it can be used for just about anything when it comes to as a little extra pouch inside a different bag. Love it so much. Got this one next. Right before a trip that my husband and I, and I believe our girls went to, we went to Amsterdam. And I wanted to see if I could use one of these 
in the 45. Yes, if this is the 45s, the Keep All 45, and I got it with the black, the Makassar, Makassar, however you want to pronounce it, but it is the monogram. I love this combination, and I know I wouldn't have to worry so much about the Fiketta le leather on it, so I chose this one. We went to the boutique together, my husband and I, and he agreed that he could even use it sometimes if he wanted to, it, because the black just made it a little more masculine for him. He felt a little better about it. But to be honest, he's never used it. Um, but I took this with me on that trip to Amsterdam because this was the size I was told fit perfectly under the seat in front of you on an airplane, and it does. And since then, I've used it for that several times, especially if I really want the closure, the zip for the, on the you know to close it, or if I'm just taking a little small trip to my parents for the weekend or whatever, I will use this. And it'll be my bag of choice, and it has the silver hardware, which I love. I think that's just beautiful. And it's just amazing. There's just, it's absolutely amazing. I love this bag. It's completely filled. So basically it's from 2015. It's right there in the date code. It has the D ring and it has nothing else. Just that D ring. And then it's got this burgundy lining. Just a beautiful, beautiful combination. I adore this bag. I was thinking I would get the um, the tag monograms, but I just haven't done so. But I love it. I love it. And this will be with me probably forever and ever because it's so useful for so many things. It's a fabulous size. And then unless I'm forgetting something, which I probably am, I do that all the time, I think this is the last one. This is my most recent purchase. It is not the newest bag in the world. Um, this was a pre-loved item that I wanted at the time, wasn't able to get, couldn't find, whatever the, the deal was, hadn't decided for sure. And then of course it wasn't available. And then once that happens, you see it everywhere. I saw it at the airport, I saw, you know what I mean? I see people with it and thought, oh, if I ever find one, I'll grab it if I can. And this one did come on my radar and it's absolutely amazing. It's an excellent condition and I love this bag. This is the Estrella MM and it is absolute perfection. It's got the key and the lock, the two zippers. It has the, the keys here. It's got this, uh, the black handles. These are very comfortable. Those can go down and you have this crossbody and or shoulder strap that you can use. Adore it. An amazing zipper. This has the black, um, I can't think of the name of it. This like that like micro suede kind of an interior. Two slip pockets on this side and then one large slip pocket across the back here. I believe there's a D ring. Yes, there is. There's also a D ring here. Just this fabulous, wonderful size. Very similar to a Neverfull, but it has the zip. Don't have to worry about the um, the leather on it, you know, because it's just that all weather, black, perfect. The handles, adjustable strap. I can't say enough. It's amazing. I love this bag. It's got feet. And it, once I found it, I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to regret it if I don't get this. It's the perfect use all the time. It still looks like brand new forever and ever and ever kind of bag. So yeah, this is my most recent monogram purchase when it comes to bags. Those are all the bags that are my monogram bags by Louis Vuitton that I still have in my collection at this time. As far as I know, if you know one that I forgot, let me know. But those are the ones and I think I have it pretty well covered. Um, I guess I, I did have a small favorite for a while and I did sell that, so I don't have that anymore. I'm just trying to think of ones that I might have had. Anyway, those are the ones. Let me know if you have any questions. If I found some good ones, I've linked them down below. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it very, very much. I'm going to decide which one of these is going to be my bag for the next week, at least. I change my bags a lot. So anyway, thank you so much. Bye.